Okay, so what we have here is a about a six pound bonito, which uh, a lot of people think is part of the tuna family, but it's actually more part of the mackerel family. It's more similar genetically to mackerel than it is to uh, tuna. And you'll notice the reason why is you look at the tuna, have these large fins that normally come out a lot longer than this. This one's quite short. And you'll see that the striping on this is much similar to a mackerel. But it's also an open water predatory fish, so it's very oily. And we're going to try and uh, fillet this now um, successfully. So there are a couple of different ways that you can do it. The way that I saw this morning um, is pretty effective for a fish like this. Um, so we're going to go ahead and give it a shot. Um, first of all, we're going to get a nice sharp boning knife, and I'm going to use just a regular boning knife. Fillet, fish filleting knife is probably better, but I'm going to use a knife. And you want to basically scalp the top of the fish all the way across the top of the head. Take off this piece. It takes off the fins. And you'll see the flesh is nice and white. The next part is to do the same on the belly. This fish has already been cleaned and gutted by my fishmonger. So I'm just going to sort of finish it off. Do a belly cut here. Likewise, do the same. Just put those off to one side. The next part is to do a nice, big, sharp, triangular cut behind this lateral fin through the back of the head and through the side on this way as well. And this just enables us to do the skinning of the fish, which is a little bit easier once you've done this. Flip them over on the other side. Likewise, take the fin on the angle to the back of the neck and through the side here. And why you want to do that, I'll show you right now. It's really easy. This has got a oily, fairly thick skin on it. So you want to take a little piece of the cut here, grab the skin, basically remove it in one sort of foul sweep. Likewise on this side, without mashing it up too much, which I've done a little bit. Basically, you're peeling off the skin all the way to the back of the fish. All right. Hey, Mars, you want to come down here real quick? You'll see there's a real sheen on the fish as well. One of the things you'll notice with this is there's two loins, one that runs on the top and one that runs down the side. Um, what we're going to do is do the same as we did the other side, which is sort of flip over, take a little bit of a cut here to grab the skin. Marley and I were watching video of this earlier this morning, and there's these Japanese fish processors who can do this a lot quicker than I can, but we're going to do our best. All right, Mars? Right. All right. Just take a little cut in here. This is about a six pound fish and we should get like four four good usable pounds of fish and flesh out of it once we're finished. So likewise grab the skin, hold the head, pull the skin all the way down at the back. Alright. Let's take your knife and trim that off. So now you have the fish pretty well dressed. Now what we want to do and this is where the cool part is. So like I said, there's a top loin and a bottom loin. Basically these sort of fish are like a T, which means that the bone, there's a lateral serrative of the bone and then there's a dorsal bone like this. So you want to take your knife, run it along this pin of bones here, make a nice deep cut. And then what you can do with this is stick your fingers along the side and just work your fingers into the back of the fish, like this, and you get a nice fillet. And what you want to do then is just take your knife, run along here, score along the back. Okay, Mars, can you do me a favour? Okay. Could you grab me a tray out of the bottom of the pantry over there? Yes, the sir. So you have one fillet, one here, 
likewise on the same side, take your knife, score on this side up here. Okay? It'll be perfect. And just drop it over here for us on my left side. Uh, left side blue. Alright, so we're back, uh, <laughs> video stopped recording, um, but the result of our filleting is that we've got four really nice thick fillets here, these are all about a pound each, pound and a half, um, the thicker part through here is a little bit richer in flavour, a little bit darker, some people prefer to cut that out, we're going to be putting this into a Spanish dish which uh, has a lot of paprika and um, garlic in it, so we're not going to really need to worry about that, but you can trim that out a little bit. Um, I'm going to clean this up and I'm going to show you how to dress these fillets a little bit. This, uh, the fish head is left over, um, a lot of really good usable meat in here. The only problem with this is these fish are really oily and because they're really oily you tend to get really strongly flavoured stock from them, so you tend, tend not to use them uh, as much. Um, it's a bit of a shame because it's super tasty. Um, as I was saying a little bit early before, there's like a tea in shape and what you should be left off with when you finish with your fish is basically a tea where you've got a little bit of this leftover meat. Uh, this is that dark meat there that's got sort of bones through it as well. Um, but this is basically leftover, you're not going to use this for very much. Um, the skin, uh, the backbone here, this belly is pretty tender as well. Um, you can use it. This fish unfortunately is not that good for sushi, it's a little bit too fatty, but you could use it if you wanted to. Um, some people do, but we're not, we're going to cook it up in the stew. Alright, so uh, I'll show you how to trim it up in just a second. Okay, so we've got back, we've got one of our fillets, about a pound here uh, of fish, uh, a little rough on the side, but we're going to just cut it up into cubes of about two inches by two inches. Uh, a sashimi knife, which I've used, I've actually just tasted this, and the sashimi is pretty, it's actually pretty tasty sashimi. Um, it's a little bit ugly to cut it, um, but the fish is really quite oily. You can see my fingers are quite greasy. Um, the flavour is similar to hamachi. It's quite sweet. Um, now what I'm doing is basically cutting up rounds about two inches or so like this. And then what I'm going to do with it tomorrow is sear it on all sides and then put it into a stew. Um, you can see this portion here, this red bloodline through there. A lot of people don't like this and if you you know you want to you can always trim it out. Um, it's a little firm on the tooth, not for everyone's liking. 